Hello Internet, welcome to another microprocessor tutorial. In the previous tutorials, we learned how to interface memory with a microprocessor by taking an example of memory interfacing of 8085 with different chunks of 8K memories. Now, microprocessors are also interfaced with input output devices or in other words microprocessors are just interfaced with two things either memory or IO devices now interfacing of microprocessor with memory essentially needs a lot of address lines and that is why we do not have different mapping schemes when it comes to interfacing memories with microprocessors but in case of IO devices uh, microprocessor will not need a lot of address lines and that is the reason why we have two different mapping techniques I'm going to discuss this thing in detail and let's begin an interface an IO device would be a device that will perform a specific function along with the microprocessor and examples of IO devices are uh, your DMA controller priority interrupt controller programmable peripheral interface and so on there are endless IO devices which are used in conjunction with microprocessor to enhance its capabilities. So use SART controller etc. Now all these IO devices they do not have a lot of registers inside in which microprocessor has to read or write from. For example, if we take uh, the case of uh, DMA, it only has 16 special function registers in which microprocessor has to read or it has to write from. Similarly, priority interrupt controller has a few registers. I guess it has only four registers where microprocessor will need to read or write. So all those IO devices uh, which are interfaced with microprocessor, they'll either have 2, 4, 16 or at the max 32 special function registers which are known as SFRs special function registers so due to the limit on the special function registers inside IO devices uh, we only have two three or four address lines on the IO devices for example we take an IO device let us take an arbitrary IO device. Now, this arbitrary IO device only has four special function registers inside. Let's name them SFR0 to SFR3. Now, because it just has four special function registers, so you'll find only two address lines on the IC of this IO device. Every IO device comes in the form of an IC package and on the IC of this arbitrary IO device, you'll find only two address lines. Now, it's up to us that we want to generate an address as long as 16 bits 
to address these just four locations in the IO device or we can use just eight uh, lines of addresses to generate an address for these special function registers inside IO and only this difference of generating a 16-bit address or an 8-bit address is referred to as memory mapped IO and IO mapped IO. Now we'll discuss this in detail with this arbitrary device of course. Now in order to generate the addresses for these special function registers inside IO device which are just four in numbers we can either use all the address lines from A0 to A15 inside microprocessor. What I can do is I can use A0 of microprocessor to connect with A0 of IO device and A1 of microprocessor to connect with A1 of IO device and I can keep all the other address lines to be either grounded that is zero or I can connect it to VCC or I can make them all once. Let us say for the sake of simplicity I keep all the other lines to be equivalent to zero. So the final addresses for these four <coughs> SFRs will become Uh, SFR0 will be accessed when A0 and A1 have 0, 0 on them. SFR1 will be accessed when I have a 0, 1 here on these two lines. Similarly, 1, 0 will lead me to SFR2 and 1, 1 will lead me to SFR3 and the rest of them are permanently made zero so the final address becomes <coughs> 0000H 0001H 0002H 0003H now this method of generating an address for the registers inside IO device where each address is 16 bit memory address is known as memory mapping it's known as memory mapped IO all these SFRs they they will be they will be referred to or named as or questioned as a 16-bit memory address. On the other hand, <clears throat> if we use only eight lines, to connect to my IO device it gives me an it gives me an address which is going to be 8 bit long and that address can be generated as the same logic as we did previously except for the fact that the addresses are going to be 8 bit long I'm keeping all the other unused lines to be equivalent to 0 so my final address becomes an 8 bit address now this 8 bit address will not be referred to as memory address but it will be referred to as port numbers 
So in other words, SFR1 is port 00, SFR2 is port 01, SFR3 is port 02, SFR4 <coughs> is port 03. Or if we have used nomenclature from 0 to 3, we can change it accordingly. But the four special function registers will now be named as port numbers from the point of view of microprocessor. Now this difference of generating a memory address or a port address is known as two different mapping techniques known as memory mapped IO and IO mapped IO. So to sum up uh, we simply have these two points to remember that memory mapped IO generates memory addresses and they are 16 bit long and IO mapped IO generates port numbers and they are 8 bit long. Now we we really can't say which one is advantageous over the other because uh, if you think in terms of address lines being wasted of course memory mapped IO wastes a lot, a lot of address lines as compared to IO mapped IO but if you refer your special function registers inside IO device you will be able to use all the memory related instructions to communicate with IO device to send or receive data from an IO device your IO device will work just like memory and all the all the main instructions and easy instructions like move and um, load they are going to be used but in case of IO mapped IO of course the address lines being wasted are less but you will only be able to use in and out with the port numbers to communicate with the SFRs only two instructions are allowed for IO mapped IO we'll discuss that <coughs> when we discuss <coughs> instructions in detail but um, from the point of view of interfacing uh, from the context of physical interfacing this is the difference and I hope this tutorial was helpful and if it was then please consider subscribing this channel it helps me a lot it motivates me thank you so much for watching the video have a good day and a good life bye